Uncle Joe's Spelling Show. It's our 21st episode. It is March the 18th, the day after St. Patrick's Day. Aaron Gobra, which means Ireland forever. The word for today is Colonel. Now, is that Colonel or is that Colonel? Is that Colonel as in Army? Or is that Colonel as in a little bit of corn? That is a good question. We'll start with the uh, person from the Army, Colonel. C-O-L-O-N-E-L is the spelling of that. And that's a French word. I think originally, maybe even in France till today, the pronunciation is was colonel. And if you speed that up and anglicize it a bit, colonel. But if you have a little bit of corn, you go ahead and, and cut to the simplified spelling, the simpler spelling. The simpler spelling of that word, colonel, is K-E-R... Any else? That's K E R N E L? Yes, that's correct. But we've adopted the French word and we've made fun of French words, Merlot. Uh, are remember? You, are, so are you I suggesting that we spell the French word, the, the person in the army, uh, the same way that we spell the bit of corn? I'm saying, where does the R come from? C O L O N E L. Colonel. 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 Yeah, but we say Colonel. <laughs> I mean, that's like. It's the day after St. Patrick's Day. It is. And I tell you what. I had a great time last night. Long, long live the Irish. Yeah. It and, should be a week. And I, well, I suggest, as I did yesterday, that it is a month. You know, uh, I have a poster in here of... of uh, but Irish people can't occupy a whole month by themselves. <laughs> you have to split up with Germans and everyone else that falls under the Caucasian I, bracket of applications. I, right? was, I was thinking of this uh, in the same way that... Uh, Martin Luther King's holiday kind of ushers in um, uh, February as, even though it's late January, February as uh, African American Month. What is it called? Black History, Black History Month. Month. And, and so that's a chunk there. But I like the fact that he has his own day. He deserves his own day. I have a poster here of Martin Luther King. It's it's up all the time and forever. You want to get that? You want to fetch it? <laughs> I love Martin Luther King. I love Black History Month, and I like the, the notion. I, <laughs> I like the notion. My uh, mother said uh, that that we have a uh, kind of an Irish, European, Anglo. You, if you throw Lent in, uh, here's my deal. If you throw Lent, Lent is always March. And if you throw Lent in with the mix, but you Lent know, is we, a Catholic. We, well, I know, but we've never had a black pope. You know. Uh, Catholic is kind of sort of white. Uh, you know, I know you have a million Hispanics and a million blacks that are uh, Catholic, but the Pope is white. And when you think Catholic, you think a little bit white. And Lent Probably and St. Patrick's okay. Day right. and so March where you're coming from. is Anglo African. You could Anglo African month. <laughs> Anglo American. You could pull it off. No. You had a rough day, Cousin had a Ron. Horrible day. Horrible. One of those days. Why don't you lie on the couch and tell us about it? Pray for sweet death. You know, there are days. <laughs> there are days in your life. You know, I'm talking on the phone with this banker guy who's trying to get our business. He's a nice guy. And, I'm, and he calls me and I say, hello. And he goes, hey, Ron, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? And he said, you know, I never had a bad day. What does that mean? I wait, wait, had he, a bad he, wait, day. wait. He said he's never had a bad he day. Said, I've never had a bad day. Wait, did, did you tell him that you were having a bad day? No. But why did he say that? Because this is, is just, he's one of those people that, you know, loves to just. You know, be Wait, all jolly. You know, the sky falls down, and well, there's a bright side to this. And I understand, you know, your perception. Is wait, 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 wait. This is too coincidental. You were having a, one of the worst days of your life, and, and he was, ha and he said, "I never have had a bad day." Is that what he's that, never did, had a bad day? Is that a coincidence that that, that happened? That that interchange happened? I, I don't know. But didn't I, you find that ironic? I found it ridiculous. Who has never had a bad? day? How could you appreciate a good day if you've never had a bad day? You need a bad day once in a while. Yes or no? Yes, and you had one today. <laughs> the sound of my own name makes me want to vomit. Ooh. Ron! <laughs> Ron, how can you, you say that? You know what? That? But it's all Ron. good. It's all good because I'd rather just embrace a bad day Ron. and say it was a bad day, but that's okay. It's going to be better, right? You have something to look forward to in life. But this I've never had a bad day nonsense. Come on, man. You've, Uncle Joe, 
Yes. Have you? Anyway. Right. <laughs> I want to talk about something else now. I've changed my mind. Uh, I think. Uh, I have nothing else to say. Uh, I'm not sure what's on here. Uncle Joe's spelling show. You gave us 22 minutes. We gave you, oh, we'll say five and a half. Five and a half. It's, it was a seven. He made me go to six. Uh, now we're five and a half. Cut it. Cut. Eventually, I'll get back up to seven. Cut. Bad day.